Dynasty ends their year in 2011 with a disappointing 3-2 loss against the Russian Legion. Even though it was a bittersweet way to end the season, the team still had a very successful year with a series championship in both the NPPL and PSP series. They have high expectations for the 2012 season. Beginning of the year, we show up with a couple guys short. Um, we had Zach Wade come out, you know, to strengthen our snake side, and then Crunchy made it an emergence. He was hilarious, you know, he's a really funny guy, a great guy to hang out with. And Rusty had just parted ways with Infamous. The team sort of moved out of San Diego, Infamous, moved to Chicago, picked up all the aftershock guys, and I just had a baby December 30th. So it was like, the, do I really want to fly to Chicago for practice? And then I told him I wasn't going to play, and then Glenn and Oliver were like, why don't you just come out and fill in with us, because not everyone's going to go to every event, and you could be a drop-in player, and I said, perfect. Going into this year, going into Galveston, I felt like we had one of the strongest teams that the Dynasty's ever had. In the first game of the Texas event, Dynasty matches up against the rookie team, Chattanooga CEP. Yeah, they're not good. There's some teams in the league that just, they're, they're trying to figure out how to win a game. And you got other teams there that are figuring out how to try and win the tournament. It's just different levels. Let's go Dynasty! All day! It's kind of nice to go out and start the season winning 7-0, but also against a team like that, you don't really know where you stand still. Coming off CEP, you know, we were able to play pretty quick and get points, and then we played Thunder, they kind of played a little more zone and a little, slowed the game down a little bit, so it was, took a little longer to weather down some of the points. They were a new team, and we came in and we're like, oh, we're hot, we're great, we got everything under control. You know, of course we thought we were just gonna beat them 7-0 again, and, uh, you know, they gave us a little bit of run for our money. They started coming up the center a little bit more on us, which was their weapon all year. Dynasty takes the 5-3 victory over Thunder. However, a powerful storm rolled through overnight and demolished the fields by the morning, leaving half of them without netting. Everybody had to get boots, you know, everybody had the rain gear, and, um, you know, it was typical paintball weather, you know. God tends to love to do that to us. The fields were just wrecked. I mean, I'm sure they lost a, a bunch of money in, in tents and nets and poles and shit like that. It was, it was really bad conditions. But they ended up getting us out there, which we were happy for them. We didn't want to just play two games and then be done for the weekend. Ryko and and Ashen were coming down the Doritos, you know, uncontrollably. So what happened was we ended up doubling up the, the Alex and Yosha squad a bunch and, and they were able to kind of sit there and, and hold them off. game was five minutes long. We were up by one point, they were pushing in, I think it was five on four, and we just held out the entire match. If 
felt good. The victory definitely felt good, and it was a good reward for playing hard. And now they were talking about um, just trying to wrap up the morning bracket. So they said, Dynasty, why don't you go play Aftershock? It'll be the last game of the tournament. And it was nighttime, and they had just kind of set up some, some lights, and it was horrible playing conditions. But yeah, we ended up beating Aftershock. But, uh, it's really a lousy thing for a team that has good momentum. Everybody's gelling, you know, because you've got that weekend. You know, we're doing little things like we're going mini golfing, we're all messing around, we're all horse playing, we're all out to dinner, you know, standard things, but you feel that different level of camaraderie sometimes at events where you just kind of know, like, we're, we're, gonna, we're playing good. He's playing good, I'm playing good, he's playing good, we're all playing good, you know. If that event would have continued and not got canceled, I, I think we would have won. Going into Phoenix, we had that first round by, so we had a lot of time to kind of watch games, and we thought that was going to be our advantage. The other teams get to dust themselves off a little bit, especially coming off of a break of six-week gap. So he came in, play, finished their two prelim games, and then they got to play through the quarterfinals. Now they have three games, and we come out there, and we're like, we got this, guys. Here we go, team. And then next thing you know, they're shooting two of us off the break every game because all their shots are on. You know, we have Misha standing in the blind zone every single time. We're like, how are we not shooting him? How is he shooting Dalton? And he's shooting this guy. Like, it was a catastrophe. Those guys straight up beat us down like we had never imagined in a million years. Oh. You're confused on how to play the field, dude. No, I'm not. He said play straight ahead. It was Charger. It was Charger you? G1, and right. you're playing across the field in my separate game plan. Yeah. They beat us in a way that was like, what the hell happened? It wasn't like we lost a bunch of nail biters, you know. They shot us off the break, they ran down, they just completely took control of the field and dominated us. Hinman came down on us because he was just like, whoa, 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 what happened too, you know? That was what I would like to have thought was like a, a, a wake-up call. As a professional, you think, well, shit, a brand new tournament on this field starts tomorrow, you know? So we have another chance to prove to ourselves and prove to the other teams that, you know, that we did work hard and that we are good and that we're going to win on this field. That whole Galveston recap is in the dust now, and uh, we come out and play Thunder. Came out good against them. Everything seems good. Engines are firing just fine, and put put a beat down on them. As fun as it is to 7-0 a team, it shouldn't happen in the division that we're at now. And you go you go out and you don't change anything just because you think you did great against a crappy team. You're you know you're gonna lose. have the momentum and then the Russians score a point and then they score another point. They're really good about changing things up. Their coaching staff is like, they're on it. They scrap the plays and then they come out with something new and next thing you know, when we were winning it on this side, now we're completely losing it on the other side. They tied it up 2-2 two -two, and then they won like a slow point, like a long point, they went up 3-2. And then on that last final point, we were winding down on time. We just made some bad pushes, and then I think I ended up in a two-on-one with like no time to do anything, and then we ended up losing 4-2. Russians probably deserve some credit to score four unanswered points is really difficult, but it's even more difficult when you're down two to zero. After a disappointing loss against the Russian Legion, the team regroups for their next match against Omaha Vicious. Vicious is one of those teams that, even though they haven't had a ton of success yet at the pro level, they're one of those teams that has beaten a good amount of the upper 
tier pro teams. You know they're going to be a tough game, and that's what we were expecting going in. Against Vicious, we scored that first point, and next thing you know, we lose a point, and then we lose another point, and then we get a major, and then we get another major. Oliver somehow he got a penalty or was in the box or a minor. Coming out of the minor, he shot before he exited the box, so we get a major and they stick him in for that. I don't want to be that guy that doesn't come out of the penalty box. You know, like you gotta come out of the penalty box. What's the smart thing to do there? I come out shooting, Jesus. You know, and I'm this much into the to the box or whatever it is, you know, and bam, I get another penalty. We're already like losing points, get a minor, get a major. Off the major, then we go ahead and add a, a major to it. So we got a double major, and that's how their points just went boom, boom, boom. You can still win if you get a penalty, but you can't win if you get a bunch. There was the one game that came down to like a four on two and uh, it ended up coming down to a one on one. I thought I shot a guy. I got excited at the same time my pick got excited, so I thought I hit the guy. And when I was running down the field, out of the corner of my eye, I see him kind of sitting down in the bunker looking the other direction. I was like, oh, you know, I gotta pull up and shoot this guy. He hit me like three times and it was like all of them bounced off and like one the one hit my zipper. I went up to the ref as I was walking out and he's, I'm like, man, I didn't shoot him? And they're like, huh? Oh, no, no, you didn't, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it was just like the beginning of this this thing for us this year, getting a lot of penalties and not reacting well to that, you know. This devastating 6-1 to one loss against Vicious makes the team's chances of moving on nearly non-existent. With a final match against CEP, Dynasty goes into this match with nothing to lose. We didn't play well enough to make it on. We had gotten beaten badly by some teams. The mentality was basically like, just play hard, you know, and without, without it actually being said, it was kind of like, show what your character really is, you know. Yeah, I mean, we're doing great against the crappy teams. <laughs> In order for Dynasty to move on, they need the Russian Legion to beat Houston Heat by at least three points. I love watching all the games play out. I'm watching Heat, and the Russians start beating them. Like, the Russians are up 3-0, and they're just crushing them, crushing them. And I'm like, man, this could happen. Like, we could actually get in if the Russians keep beating on these guys. Then Heat just all of a sudden turned it on and came right past them and ended up beating the Russians. Walking off the field against CEP, we didn't get the opportunity to, to process it, you know, to process what had happened and to search within ourselves or search within our, our team to figure out exactly why we had had such a big fuck up. A week before the PSP Chicago event, Dynasty has a two-day practice at Camp Pendleton, California. You know, we were, we were just playing rounds of six with the higher men and the heat guys. Pretty long, pretty grueling practice. We got, I think, maybe twice as many points as we normally play. Back center, Texas! Back center in Texas only! What in the f Michael scream at people and he's very direct. You know, in the back of your head you might think a guy's an idiot. Well, he'll say you're an idiot, or he'll say a comment he wants to say, and guys just don't, they sometimes don't respond to that well. What the fuck are you doing, man? Can't get away with that, this is the big leagues, kid. Well, we're in a three on three, a three on two situation, we throw that shit away. Like, you know, I've said this for too much, and I feel like a parent talking to a child that's never going to actually do what they say. If people don't step up, you will not fucking play on this team. There's some weirdos on Dynasty, you know? There's some guys that are, are very unique individuals, and it takes a special person to be able to deal with all of those those guys, and it takes a really special coach to be able to, like, pull the best out of those guys, you know? I mean, that's, that's what makes the best coach. For you young motherfuckers, man, gotta go get some, dude. I see some pussy shit filling pods all Chicago. Get you a little fan, it'll be nice.
We know the Russians have good players. He, fucking every other team we play, have great players. Don't give them the. If we're up two bodies, don't do dumb shit and run into guns. Like make them earn some shit. It seems like sometimes we get up and we get real like on our toes, looking to go forward when we really don't have to. You know what I mean? Now don't get me wrong. Like don't you have Comanche over there? By all means, make some moves. You know what I mean? But if they're spread out across the back, let them make a bad fucking move into our guns. It's discipline. It, I, I believe it comes down to discipline. Because I know sometimes when you guys get shot silly and you come off field, I can see it in your body language. Because again, I've played with most of you guys. Like, you guys are all smart enough to know when you fuck up. You don't need me to tell you. If we can play as mistake free and as sharp a paintball as we can, I honestly believe we cannot be stopped. Let's go, man. Hey, we got a big game right to start off the tournament, dude. I like that. Yeah, Yoshi's got, right, though, man. We gotta bring it starting tomorrow morning. That's like the finals. Right okay. early, motherfuckers. Get some rest. Let's huh? go. One, two, three, two. <laughs> Win, baby. Win. 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 going in it was like okay we're gonna go back to what was working for us last year and that was playing the best seven or eight guys we can put on the field and if a guy gets tired or if a guy's not playing well then that's why we have these other capable guys so I mean yeah I, I thought confidence was high we still had those seven or eight guys that we knew we could count on we didn't really take the time we we're supposed to take to test out the paint and we grabbed a batch that was like golf ball slice that's the kind of flight path some of these things me and Glenn went out in an open field and we're shooting it and they're like every direction and then we go check some other batches and it's like right on in effect they just they crushed us there was a mixed blend of us getting crushed and us shooting paint that wasn't hitting anyone Ultimately, we didn't bounce or shoot or miss enough guys even because we lost so bad. You lose 7-0 because everything is going wrong, not just because one thing is going wrong. Show up to an event after some hard practices and then get 7 0 Yeah, it was a wake up. And we still had heat left in our bracket, so it was like, from here out, we gotta just win out. We have a couple guys maybe that are playing well, and a couple guys that are capable of playing well, but other than that, they're just kind of shorthanded, you know. The team comes away with a 7-3 win, but their next challenge is against the team who knocked them out of the Texas event, Houston Heat. Let's go, Dynasty! All day! well against Heat because we were playing that preliminary style game where a lot more aggressive, a lot more punch. We're going in there and someone's gonna die, but hopefully we're gonna win kind of game.
a little bit of a revenge game for the previous tournament. And honestly, the, like, the guys played well. We got off to a slow start, but we won a lot of close games. You know, I remember a couple of those points came down to maybe a 2 on 2 or a 2 on 3 or a 1 on 2 that took some time, but we ended up winning those points. When I the footsteps from the back of the bus, tell me how do you touch? Lights out, it's a rush, that's a must. And when the light comes in, cut the fame, then I'll discuss the range, interrupt the rain, time to make the call. And we wall the wall, crap digging in the crates, minimal lights. I remember Oliver bunkering a guy in the Dorito and, and the guy was looking the other way and it was like, you know, we put the final crush on him to finish the match and everyone was lifted like we felt, okay, we could win this tournament. There's nothing better than like winning the game you need to win to move on. If you play really well initially and then you lose a game because you play like dog shit and then you still kind of make it on, it's not as good of a feeling. Listen, we were down two fucking points. We came the fuck back. We fought the fuck back. And what do we score? Seven in a fucking row? Yeah, in a row. Wait a oh. fucking minute. Hey, listen, hey, oh. listen, listen, you know what? Man? Better, hey, man, I'll huh? tell you right now. Listen, the difference is, man, is everybody's fucking voice. Everybody's desire. You can feel it going into That's that so last fucking, fucking game that you all want to win. Bro, which one fucking spewed over on me wanted to win. Come on, boy. All right? So everybody needs to put in 110% fucking ten percent and we win fucking this fucking tournament. tournament. Let's go, boy. So let's go. Liberty likes to lose. Can it hand me this life from cool? Burn it down, burn it down. Begin with a roof, no hole in the bucket. We pull it through, burn it you know, they're young and they're reckless. And they Mike Bruno, and he's not afraid to like send two guys to the X and three guys down the side. I remember breaking out against them in one of the matches, and I like turn, shoot, and no one went right. So, like, <laughs> what are these guys up to? So you gotta wrap around like there has to be five guys somewhere, right? We pull it proof. We had our backs against yeah. the wall, man. This is the shit we were supposed to do. Yeah, now it gets hard tomorrow. Yeah. We need the same fucking intensity we had this morning. Keep these teams uncomfortable. After getting off to a rough start, Dynasty moves on to Sunday as the number four seed. They await to play the LA Ironmen in the quarterfinals. Ironman, a team we practiced and been playing against forever. I knew that as long as nothing dumb happened, we were going to beat them. That's how that was in the crowd the other guy. He got shot back there, ran down and shot me with five hits on him. Hey, Glenn, get ready. Let's go. I think it was like the second or third point. Brainy comes and bunkers me. Whatever, it's a good move. It keeps going. Dalton, I remember Dalton shooting him the whole time because Dalton's right behind me. And Dalton gets a penalty. Dynasty! Line one, Dalton. Heads in it. Let's go! Yeah. Oh, right here. Hey. Hey. Martin came to our side. Glenn goes and bunkers them, slides into their Dorito, and they call him out on some arm hit that he mysteriously got, and we got a major there. So we kept getting these major pullbacks during the match, and even then the match was closed. I'm standing here, my mind's growing tired. Are you so slow, am I so dang of liar? No, I don't mean Maybe if it was my shoelace, maybe they would let me stay in, but I don't know, I'd probably dope my whole body out. I don't know. Yeah, I just saw a red flag go
we lost a bunch of guys and they had guys like everywhere. They had all the territory and it just came down to me and it was like a tiny little desperation move and I got the shit shot out of I don't want to fucking complain. Yeah, I, I, dude, I'm the last guy to make fucking dumb excuses. But when fucking I understand, action's dude. in the That's fucking bad, box, that was a bad call. I'm fucking Absolutely. like this, dude. Not even that. No, that was a bad yeah. call. The guy that ran through over here. I mean, you know yeah, yeah, but those are the dude. In a pro game, but hey, but those are the that, that, that doesn't need to be said right here. I think the team put a lot of the responsibility on some bad calls rather than putting the responsibility on ourselves. Hey, think about how frustrating this feels. We need to fucking step it up. A little bit by little bit, we need to get better. That's what's going to get us over the hump. This shit fucking sucks, all right? We need to go to practice, we need to work hard, we need to come together better as a team. Okay? we got two more big fucking things to do. We need to move up close. All right, here's that. One, two, three, team! So now we come into MAO, uh, and we play damage in the first match, and we get 7 0 again. Like, how do we not win a point? Again, we go out and we've got a style of play that we think we're gonna play, and both the Russians and Tampa have figured out how to really stop that. It's your call. Yeah, I remember just like not being able to lock down a zone for some reason, you know, just not feeling strong behind my gun. And I just imagine if everyone else on the squad was feeling that way, no wonder we got shit on so hard. Yeah, be brand new. Be my dog. Go out there and win that fucking point. For sure, let's point get by it the up. fucking point, we'll get up on this. Ryan, we'll do it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. It, Want it, motherfuckers. One more than right, Let's go. Work fucking together. I know it team. sucks right now, but fucking get it together. Come, Come on, on, man. Let's go, let's Dynasty. Go. Let's go. We had G1 almost every single game. We we're playing 5 0 4 almost every single game, and then we lose a one ball. And I'm watching it because I'm standing here waiting for our guys. We're watching our guys, we're playing great, and you can see, dude, I can see you guys are getting antsy, dude. People are trying to battle, overextend. And the next thing you know, I look over and fucking two dudes are walking off one side. Or fucking dipping guys out of the fucking sides, dude. There's no fucking excuses for this shit, man. Tighten it the fuck up. Oh yeah, people are freaking out now, you know. I mean, the level-headed guys on the team are really just trying to figure out, like, what the hell is going on? You know, like, why does a team beat us 7-0? I mean, how can we not win one point in one match? Refocus, let's go. Hey, the only way we're gonna win is if we fucking fight together, all right? Only way. We gotta play together. That means on a side, that means five guys all working together. That's what we gotta do. Alright? Team on three. One, two, three. Team team. 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 Win. After what seems like deja vu of the Chicago event, the team still has another match against the rookie team, Upton 187 crew. Out of the teams that aren't good, they're the better up and coming team that's not good. But I think those guys run like seven guys. That's easier to play a team that has that because they don't have as much time. Most of the guys that are playing are coming off and going back on. So they're not off thinking about what to do. A lot of times they're just in the motion constantly. Even though we beat 
28-7. We didn't win 7-0, so we didn't like balance out to a zero on margin. Guys, shut the fuck up and stop saying, yeah, I fucking, I believe, I this. I cannot think of too many dudes that can honestly say, and if they do, they're fucking extremely arrogant, that we are at 100%. Every dude needs to look inside of himself and find a way to get himself up because if each of you play better, we will all play better together. At the end of that game, you notice why like the young guys, like I put Ray and guys like that in, they just do a job. We need guys to do their job. And then the good shit will come, man. You're gonna see that shit, those fucking paths where you go through and eat up three fucking dudes, you know what I mean? But we gotta start with fucking square one. If we just wanna do this for fun, because we all like hanging out, we can do that. I wanna do this to win, because that's how this team has fun. I want to win. You have to fucking feel that. You know what's funny is after that game, everybody's over there bullshitting, laughing, ha ha ha. There was one dude that looked like somebody just punched his mom, Yosh. You guys are all over here laughing like it's funny. We just got seven O's. We got our fucking souls snatched out. Seven O. That should never happen on this team ever again. Let's go. Do anything, Hands in. Do anything right? Yeah. I think we so. won. We won the fucking hey, game. Now we Not doing a lot right, dude. Man, yeah, I don't look, give a guys, fuck what you guys think. We, we won. We won. We won that game, and we were playing fucking better than the first game. So shut the fuck up and boost each other. That's what I'm talking about, man. Okay. We did do some right things there. We won. Okay. All right. These are the prelims. These are against fucking teams where shit fucking happens. We are doing some things right. Not everything is wrong. Let's go. Gotta get better yeah. to win a tournament. It's like a train, man. Gotta you get, get better. fucking momentum. You this get same and no one can stop. Keep getting better. Yep. All right? Every fucking before game. Before Let's go. Let's go, boys. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Team. Win. The game plans aren't bad. What we have, a pro like I said this to you at one point, we could take a game plan that's a 50-50 game plan, but if all five guys in the field believe in what we're doing, we're gonna be more successful with it. Okay, let's get back on track, please. No, I'm not, Ryan. I'm the coach of this fucking team. Am I the coach still? Yes, my coach. Then I just wanna make these points. Like, I want guys to understand. I want guys to understand. I know Ryan sent out a group text that said, let's be positive in the meeting and let's focus on the next couple games and, and winning. And then Mike's phone was dead. So out of all the people that got the message, be positive, him and didn't get the message. If we can have a little bit more just organization in, in, and this has nothing to do with you, Mike, it's the other guys who are ready, haven't been turning it around, haven't been playing a lot of points, aren't trying to run out there with 30 seconds on the, on the clock. You know, uh, if those other three dudes that are kicking it there can just be like, hey, I agree with you, man, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> well, let's, let's, I'm really like, what else can I fucking do, man? I'm, I'm not saying putting anything else on your shoulder. I'm not putting anything on your shoulder. I'm saying yeah. you guys have honestly got me to the point, like where I'm about to fucking crack, and I'm not talking about on you. Like I said it today, step the fuck up, man. That's what needs to happen. In, like I'm not talking about the six guys that are starting. I'm talking about the guy at the back four. I had a point in the second match today where I put one of those four guys on. At 10 seconds, he ran down the field. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? If it took you a minute and 50 seconds on your first point to get down to the flag station, find another sport to play. Okay. Well, what I'm, what I'm trying to do is get, get as much help for you. I I'm trying to get as much help for you. He kind of said his piece, and his piece was, I'm really fucking pissed off, and these are the guys that are fucking up, and, and it was pretty much everyone, and this is why I think they're fucking up, and he just kind of did that thing where he... <sighs> crosses his arms and, you know, kind of rolls his eyes and, you know, it's like he wants to be there because he's there with the team and he wants to see it through, but he's just kind of like at wit's end, you know? All I'm saying now, at this point, to make this meeting as productive as possible for the rest of tonight, we need to come up with some fucking si simple game plans so that everybody's on the same page. Yeah. Are we going to play this well, fucking... Most part, we don't need to come up with them. Okay, we have them. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. That works. Exactly. Let's go oh, over them. Let's clarify them. Even though there's a lot of chaos of whatever. arguing and finger pointing. Through that, I was able to push in like, okay, what do you guys like? What do you want to do? What would help you? And we got some like direction out of it. We really narrowed some of the issues out, I thought. Like I walked away and I was like, it was a pretty rough meeting, but I thought it was productive. Believe in each other, man. Believe in yourself, huh? We go out there, we can actually get man. Yeah, let's go. We got this shit. Come on. Get some rest. Let's get our fucking shit straight. Team on three. One, two, three. Team! Wait, wait. Let's go, guys. Handle your shit. Let's go, Mouse. Mouse in!
We ended up getting ahead of them on points, and there was five of us on two of them. I think it was Marcelo, another guy. I run down to go bunker Marcelo, and I ended up trading out with whoever was in the tower. But I shot him in the loader, and then I get blasted bits. And, and as I ran off, I was like, he's in on his loader. Without even looking at the loader, immediately just pulls Yosh. Like, Yosh was seconds away, you know? It was three to two us. We had just won a quick point. I'm looking at the clock. There's not much time. There's two something left into it. Mouse gets a penalty for hitting the bunker. Yeah, remember it was just Yoshi and I, and I was sitting there thinking to myself, like, these guys gotta come. We're up. It's three to two, you know? So they're coming, they ended up beating us. Next thing you know, there's 27 seconds left in the game, right? So we're like, okay, cool, whatever. You know, we're just gonna go to overtime. No penalty! No penalty! The game starts and Ryan gets shot right in the tank and, you know, death field or whatever. Red flag, penalty, automatic point, Russians, so they beat us 4-3. to three. When it comes down to that 90 seconds and it's tied or a team is up by one, one individual that is not playing the game can change it with a judgment call, you know? Not to say that he has any ill feeling again, but his judgment is what determines that game, and that ended it for us, you know. We're just another team out here, man. We have to earn our fucking stripes. And this process goes forward. We do have another match. I don't care if we're in, so out, left, or right. We better win the game 7-0, because that's what we should be looking to do every fucking game. That's right. Let's go. We're here together, guys. Good playing, man. We played well. We're here together still, all right? Let's go. Team on three. One, two, three. Team! team. Win. Win. The next game against Aftershock was a tougher game than expected, but Dynasty comes away with the 5-3 win. However, this wasn't enough to move on, and the team walks away with yet another disappointing event. Shortly after the event, Mike Hinman makes a decision to leave the team to coach the Ironmen. There's got to be a command and control structure, the players got to do their job, and then the coach has to do his job, and clearly things weren't working out. And I just had enough of it at that point. I just, I was done arguing with people. It's not how it should be. Some of their guys weren't having fun. I wasn't having fun with it. And enough was enough, you know? It was the toughest call I've ever had to make and the toughest text that I had to send to some of the other guys. But the next day I felt better about it. And I'm at peace with my decision. It was a nice, neat split. We all appreciated everything that Mike had brought to the team and had done for the team. You know, he definitely put himself out there for us. He made a lot of sacrifices and paid a lot of money and put forth his best effort, I'm sure, but at that point, everybody involved agreed that it wasn't gonna work going forward. A lot of changes for the better happened after MAO, you know? I mean, unfortunately, we lost Mike. It was a clean departure. We lost Mouse again. Honestly, it's ridiculous. We lost McCormick, but McCormick wasn't really ever really on the team. He just kind of showed up and Mike got him. And I don't know whose idea it was, but it was a genius idea. It was to have Rusty step down from playing and then become our coach. He kind of just fit right into the role right away, and I think he was happy to be like, all right, now I can kind of implement some of my ideas with authority. That's it, man. That's all we can give. Enough's enough. Yeah. Let's go take now. Let's go, man. D-Y-N-A-S-T! Let's start taking, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. After another disappointing event, the team heads to the City of Sin for the NPPL Las Vegas event. In addition to having Rusty as their new coach, they also pick up rookie player Blake Yarber and Marcelo Margot decides to guest on the team for the event. play X Factor, Vendetta, Infamous, and Heat. So we didn't have like an easy draw. Vendetta had a hell of a 
game plan. Their game plan was not to go anywhere and to shoot. And I mean, they kicked our ass. But at the end of the day, it was probably the greatest thing to happen to us because we figured out the field even better and it worked to our advantage. Simple. When we got up points, we went further on the field. So then you have this team that's running at you and you're running at them. And they're running really desperate, you're running really confident. That takes all the wind out of their sails. To adapt the team, all I did was told them to be yourselves. You guys have won 50 plus tournaments, just do that. All the extra hours we went overtime in the yeah. fucking practice. Yeah. It's right now yeah, that it yeah, fucking yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah. Let's fucking yeah. play. Yeah. Let's come out and fucking play, dude. Yeah. Oh, 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 baby. Let's go. 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 And I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, it's two on one now. We got this tournament. And sure as hell, fucking idiot still comes. And I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I'm like repulsed to myself. And I, I look at the referee, and the referee is like, you come out too. I was like, I'm like, I gotta come out too? Really? Are you serious? And he's like, come out. And I look at Marcelo, shining star, wins beach rally in a one on one. I mean, it's only karma at that point. You know, and that was a that was a good event to win. We came off a pretty horrible year of not making cuts and not winning, and then we, I step in and help out. We win. That was it. Was all pretty exciting. You guys played fucking amazing this weekend. That's our dynasty fucking place. That's why everybody's afraid of us because you badass motherfuckers in this circle. And it feels good to put my fucking hand right here and Woo! say fucking congratulations. Hell yeah! Damn it, Asty! Why? You want Asty? Why? You want Asty? Why? Sometimes you just you you miss that taste or that remember that feeling of what it's like to win. And then once you get that feeling again, it's just a snowball effect.
the confidence going into World Cup was this whole nother level, you know, because we got to see our hard work of practice leading up to Vegas pay off. So the direct result of that was let's work really fucking hard again and make sure that we're prepared for World Cup. For the first match at World Cup, Dynasty faces off against Edmonton Impact. This is Impact's first match of the year in the PSP. Dynasty is happy to welcome them back to the league. Impact joined the league, and they're coming off a seven-man tournament series where they're in the top four every time, and they're always being a contender. So it wasn't like, all right, we're going to run all over Impact. But we ended up running all over Impact. So that was you know, a nice start to the tournament. I saw it as an advantage being able to play them first just because I didn't know if they would be really into the full swing of all the fine-tuning and stuff that happens playing a lot of PSP matches. I didn't think they were going to be prepared for it. And I'm not sure that they were, but we, we beat them pretty handily. They had practiced and they were good. I think if they hadn't have played us first game, I think they would have done better in the tournament. But I think we really took the wind out of their sails playing them. And we weren't going to lose. There's no way we were going to lose. After a convincing 7-2 win against Impact, Dynasty goes on to play San Antonio X-Factor. The X Factor game was a tough game. I mean, it was a it was a good game. We played well against them, and I think it was I think it started raining a little bit. We lost a couple of close points, and Billy Bernaccia probably played the best I've ever seen him play at World Cup, but especially in that match against us. You know, and like Archie had some good games. And those guys played pretty well and they ended up coming back and then we just ended up kind of running into their guns. We're up 4-2 and then we go out and we play a point and it goes for a while, it goes a long point. Bit by bit, they won the point. So we're, right, we're still fine, it's 4-3. We go out and we play the next point, same thing. Long point, bit by bit, they end up winning the point. So now it's 4-4. Guys, listen, hey, we gotta maintain, man. We gotta maintain. It's four to four, it's rainy, it's wet. Let's do this shit, man. It's a little rainy, it's a little muddy. Next thing you know, they score four points against you. But they played good. I mean, you know, you can't take anything away from them at that point. They wanted to win too, it was World Cup. People get fucking shot. But fuck, man, you don't do it again and again and again. We do it one time. We're better than that shit, man. It's our fucking tournament, okay? This is our fucking tournament. You guys fucking believe that? I believe that. I want to win. You guys want to win too? Let's fucking win. Let's not get down on each other. We weren't using enough teamwork. There were situations where we could have worked together better to figure shit out. We were playing individual and we got popped. We made moves on our own and we got popped. There's situations where you can pair up and do shit together. And I don't think, I don't think we did situations like that You're very well. absolutely right. Yeah, it's it's going to happen. It's I'm expecting we're going to come out and put some ass whoopings out. I fucking scouted 187, so we'll have a good idea of some of the stuff they do. And then we'll have heat on Saturday. Let's go, motherfuckers, huh? This is it. This is all that matters right here. There's no more fucking time in this year, except for now, to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And we've got one fucking hiccup, all right? We have no more room for fucking error. And I fucking believe in you, motherfuckers! So let's go! One, two, three, team! team. Win! Win! The bad weather passes overnight and leaves clear skies for the rest of the event. Dynasty's only match of the day is against Upton 187 crew. 187 isn't a bad team. They're not like some of these teams that just give you these kills. They they're good shooters and they will make good moves and they, they make big moves too. We've had our success against them, but they've been close points every time.
After getting off to an early 4-1 lead, Dynasty gets a series of penalties and lets 187 back into the game. Guys, come on! Yo, no guys. penalties! No penalties! Hey, the biggest thing? No penalties! The biggest no thing is penalties. alive, alright? Yeah, Let's no go. penalties! D-Y-N-E-S-T! What? Hey, focus right now! It's, a, it's what you do right now that matters! Hey, this is in our fucking hands. Let's go. With little time left, Mesa tries to run the flag in, but doesn't reach the box in time. Dynasty still comes away with a 4-3 win, but this extra point will prove to be crucial later on. The last match of the preliminary round is with Dynasty up against Houston Heat. Even if Dynasty wins, they're not guaranteed a spot into Sunday's round. Several other teams sit at 3-1, and Dynasty will need to win by two. Big fucking game. Big fucking game. Hey, fight it in your cell phone, Hey, hey, get the fuck out of your chest. Take it out. Get put it on the fucking field. Let's go. 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 Before the game against Heat, we knew we had to win by two. To beat Heat's a battle, but to have be stuck in like a we have to win by X amount of points is even more of a battle. I think guys are having a lot more fun. When you've got super talented guys that are playing with confidence and that are having fun, yeah, you can overcome a lot. Those guys can make a big difference. I know we need two points, and I know we're not going to get a two-point spread in overtime, so we need to end this in regulation. You know, and I, I, I got shot trying to do that. We already saw him play a long overtime point, man. Look, look for a snake on the break, and then look for them to fucking lock it down, okay? Carry a lot of time. Purple. Outlast these motherfuckers. Let's go. Purple. Hey, get my gun. I'll, I'll get my gun out, Hey, give me paint, 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 paint. The overtime went to like a long, long, long overtime. And then it finally like the game broke where we picked off some of them and we were able to finish the game. I suppose it feels better to say, oh, we didn't make it because we're three and one. But would it have been better to have lost that heat game trying to win and trying to make it to Sunday? You know, our fans are, who are behind us, which I'm stoked for, are like, man, you know, you guys are the only team that beat Heat and they won the tournament. Like, yeah, that's a great thing to think. But had we pushed it a little harder, we might have been able to beat them by two. It is what it is. The way the tournament broke down, but everyone played fucking hard, played with a lot of fucking heart out there, man. So it is what it is. Hey, that was a fucking hard battle, dude. I don't give a shit fucking what anybody says, dude. There's nothing to be ashamed of what just happened. That was fucking good, a good game. Yeah, so, next year. 
Fucking hard fought, man. Team on three. One, two, three. Team! Team. I think we went pretty far down in the hole during the course of the year, but I think we have people in place now like Rusty and some of the new guys on the team like Blake and Ray. Dalton is becoming a veteran guy. And I think it's good for our other guys like Ryan and myself and Oliver and Alex to kind of get that taste of the bitter, you know. So, I mean, it was definitely a hard year. And I think there was a lot of maturing that, that had to happen for us to come back like we did at the end of the year. And I think there's only an upside ahead of us. Uh, Vegas went all right. Came home with a couple souvenirs from the souvenir shop. Fucking camera out of here! <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love rubbing powder on Josh's back? <laughs> it's actually called prickly heat. It's not just powder. It's snake brand oil from London dispensaries. I think deep down inside, all the haters are lovers. And I'm okay with that.